Now the difference between birds and dung beetles is here you can see the birds have kind of torn at the horse droppings. You can even see the bird poop and there's another bird poop. So that has been um, disrupted. That manure pile has been disrupted by birds. This here is a bite of a dog, namely Maya, who's just trotted off and eating it. And you can see there's Brindle eating some of this pile of manure as well. They're pre-cooked vegetables is basically what horse manure, cow manure, sheep manure is. Then if you come here, this pile here, you can see that little hole there is a dung beetle. Then let's see if I can adjust my viewing. There's dung beetle activity in there. Um, there's dung beetle activity there. There's dung beetle activity. All those little holes, like right there, those are winter dung beetle, their activity. Here, the bird has been pursuing the winter dung beetles because you can see there's a hole there, but all this disruption is birds pursuing the dung beetles that have landed. There's some more uh, dung beetle activity there. This is just the manure stretching as it drops, but the little holes that you see are the dung be winter dung beetle activity. And here you can see there was winter dung beetle activity and the birds went after them. So dung beetles are really, really important because they are um, food, a really good source of protein for birds uh, during the uh, winter months are the winter dung beetles. So they're really important to have a certain percentage of livestock out on the land so that the dung beetles have food and in turn that food is fed to birds as well as they do their breakdown of the manure. And in this case, it's the horse manure. Here's a really fresh pile of horse manure. So there's gonna be no activity except the breakup of the bits falling apart. So that is a uh, dung beetle activity in the winter. The difference between bird and um, dung beetles and there, at times you'll find badgers scattering it and foxes scattering it, looking for worms and dung beetles and larvae and things like that. So this stretch, when this hay bale is done here, then the uh, horses are move, move, going to be moved to the next stretch of um, strip of grazing with three bales again. And they'll do that throughout the winter and all this manure will then fertilize the soil uh, that they've um, been grazing on.